Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar, Self-Awareness for Success. So I um, want to start with a fun fact because we've got to maximize our time together, but really want to kind of invite you into this topic because it's not really a topic that, though everybody's curious about it and kind of intuitively knows that it's really critical for their success and their happiness and their well-being, I don't get it. Forbes magazine actually says that only 15% of the world are self-aware. Like that's crazy to me, but it's exciting for me, um, for you, I mean, because today, just by taking the time to be in this webinar, you are moving towards being amongst that elite group. So that's exciting, isn't it? We all look for growth, progress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my camera now because there's some slides that I want you to keep your eyes on on the screen. And I will be talking through the slides in the background, but I'm just gonna mute myself now so we can kind of all see the same thing. So here I go, I'm stopping my video. Bye-bye. Then I'm sharing my screen and away we go. Basically, here we go. It's about self-awareness for success. I'm gonna quickly tell you a little bit about me. My name is Sheba, as I told you, Sheba Forbes for almost two decades as an accomplished um, executive, a certified trained executive life coach, I've been uh, a success catalyst for my clients. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you just a quick story to kind of help you understand, well, my credibility and my effectiveness. I worked with um, a, large, a, a large multinational called Suncor Energy, I worked with five of their executives there. One of the executives that I, with whom I worked um, mandated that our work produced for him the opportunity to be the CEO. Now it was a competition and he won the competition. And not only did he win the competition, he went from $500,000 a year to $12 million a year. And that's not even including stock, op stock options. And he's been voted the best CEO of the year in, four, uh, in Canada four years in a row. So, you know, that's just to give you a, a sense that you're in the car with somebody who's got a good sense of the road um, as a driver. So this successful proven process that I've been using for the past 20 years is what I'm gonna be introducing you guys to today. And it's very obvious to me now and why I'm doing these webinars is that self-aware people have a competitive advantage and are more successful in everything that they do. Yet only as Forward Magazine says, only 15% of the population are self-aware. So that's crazy and that's a huge missed opportunity. And that's what we're gonna kind of get you uh, planting some of those seeds for you now so you can germinate them on your own time and you know, consider moving towards that direction for yourself. So um, I've, I'm a published author, I um, bookstores across North America. My second book is gonna be published globally this year. So you can pick it up at any airport or bookstore that you want to do and you can say, hey, I listened to that lady's webinar. <laughs> Anyways, I'm successful because of my self-awareness. And I and, and and I know that this same process has the same potential to move you forward in your life too. So this is your time to focus on you. And the webinar is about self-awareness, which is the key to success. And it's gonna help you, today we're gonna help you be more self-aware and explain how self-awareness enables success. Because unless you really understand why it's worth the effort, and even as you know, self-awareness, even as blah as that word sounds, it, it's a pretty powerful word, and it holds a whole lot of money, a whole lot of opportunity, and a whole lot, a whole lot of happiness. So it's really worth investing some of your time, like you're doing now. And so you know, buckle up. Let's get out the workbooks and let's get going. Um, the whole idea of the workbook is for you to work on your own time as well as during this workshop work with this webinar. So life has taught me that when we empower ourselves, um, when we focus on increasing our awareness, we enable ourselves to do so much more than we ever thought we could do. With increased awareness of anything, it's easier to realize the choices we have available. And it's no, it's no different with self-awareness. The more you know and understand who you are and what your success triggers are, the better choices you make. 
see, people are predictable. You're predictable. I'm predictable. And this is just based on a scientifically established fact. So when you understand your success triggers through greater self-awareness, you, it's, it's the more consistent and likely you'll apply it and achieve satisfying and sustainable results for it. It's the predictability of humans um, that empowers us to be in control of our own lives to a certain degree, of course. Now, the easiest way to be more self-aware is by first understanding your personality. So as you see on the slide, self-aware people understand their personality. Personality, ma personality matters because it dictates how you process, operate, experience life, and feel. Many of us have lived complicated lives, so I'm cringe at the thought of being predictable. But predictability isn't to be a reflection of your character. It's a function of your behavior. You know, our personality traits never change. Unless we're in a drug-induced state, we've experienced a life-altering event, or had a spiritual awakening. Otherwise, science says that our traits are pretty fixed, and we each have two specific personality traits that, we, that when we apply consistently and effectively with them, we achieve our best results. Now, these two traits are not necessarily the same for, for each of us. And that's where the opportunity becomes to really nail and understand your two strongest traits so that you're setting yourself up for success. See, the more you understand what those two traits are for you, the more consistently you're gonna realize success. While we can't control the people and places or things out there, I assure you that with consistency of application your, of your strongest traits, your life will and can only be satisfying. Now, your two strongest traits may differ from my two strongest traits, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that you know and understand and consistently lead with your best. Now, I understand that that invites a whole bunch of other questions in terms of what does that mean to consistently lead with your best? Well, what it means is if you know what your two strongest traits are, you're going to play to that and try to not be something more than you are or somebody other than who you are because you'll never have a successful result. There is and always will be a direct correlation between the quality of your life and your self-awareness. Ladies, you're beautiful, unique, and worthy of being understood. Unless you understand yourself though, how can anybody understand you? So you deserve to be and feel more in control of your life. Too many people think that they don't need to focus on self-awareness and understanding because, you know, society tells us, life tells us, our parents tell us, whatever it is, that we should already know who we are. But how would we know who we are if all those times, you know, growing up, we had to be somebody that our parents wanted us to be or what our friends wanted? So, you know, it's really quite understandable why so few of us have this level of self-awareness needed to kind of move mountains in our lives. I'm here to tell you that very few people know their true success triggers. And, you know, again, remember what Fortune magazine says, only 15% of the world are self-aware. If you don't know your success triggers, though, how can you possibly ha have good aim at, at what you're trying to achieve? There's no way around it. Self-awareness is a process and a journey. It's a path we all must travel in order to realize our purpose. Now, we intuitively know that self-awareness matters. But still, too many of us women especially play small rather than from a position of strength. But it doesn't have to be that way. We are more in control than we realize. But that's the problem. We just don't realize it. So get clear on who you really are. Get to know your potential. Know and understand what you have to, what you have to work with. Realize the success you were created to have. You know, if you want to make more money, be more fulfilled, claim your throne as the queen you are. Go nuts, you are completely capable and those results and those objectives are completely within your reach. So then we're gonna look at values. Values are the keys to your castle. And inside your castle is where you're gonna learn the third, con where, you, where you find the third concept that we're gonna discuss in this webinar, and that's a vision. Your vision awaits you inside your castle. And we all get visions, not just some of us. So self-awareness makes our visions easier to recognize 
believe in, accept, and manage. So do you have a vision for your life that you accept, that you seek to advance? And if you aren't aware of your vision yet, that's okay. It's there. That's what I want you to understand. You, you have no idea what you're not allowing to see the light of day. Your vision's there. Your personality and your values, they work together to empower your visions. So that's what we're going to focus on. Ladies, bottom line, you're sitting on a pot of gold. You have so much more inside of you than you ever knew. You have been designed and created to succeed. Tap into your sizzle as a queen. Remember, a self-aware woman is a sexy woman who, because she embraces her essence. So know your personality. I'm going to introduce you to the seven personality traits that determine high performance as established by behavioral science. And I'm going to guide you to identify what your two strongest tr success triggers are. Values, well, they're powerful. They're also, they're your success enablers. And all successful people, consciously or unconsciously, lead with them. The more you understand your personality and your values, the more certain will be your success. And so then we'll conclude this webinar by touching on the concept of vision. Self-awareness is your map forward to success. So follow your unique path and you can not fail. It's a guarantee because everything flows from who you are. So the better you be that person you are designed to be, the better your results are going to be. So self-awareness is for success and always will be. So keep making sure, you know, the slides will, will be corresponding with kind of what I'm saying at the time. So it's time to go deeper. Now let's start with owning your power. Like I said, behavioral science has established seven personality traits that determine high performance, power, sexiness in life. We all have these seven traits, but they manifest differently for each of us. Now you already know that because we all have a different personality. That's what makes our different personalities how those seven traits manifest for each of us. It's about our style and the way we approach life, but all of that is based on a hardwiring. It's your personality traits that determine how you think. It's not about what you think about, it's about how you process and respond to everything that you face. It, this goes back to the predictability of, 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 of who we are. But think about how cool that is. Your actions, your personality, and your values are part of your hardwiring. And therefore, how you think, respond, and process is perfect for you. Now, it's so hard for us to embrace our perfection because people, we only see each other from our own personal vantage points. We only see, you know, I see you relative to me. You see me relative to you or to somebody that you know. It was just what we do it so we get you know a better orientation of where we're at what we're dealing with so all i want you to do now is just ask yourself how intentional you are about being the perfect you you are do you find yourself second guessing yourself too often why not use that same energy to better understand yourself and increase your self-awareness objectively the more you let yourself be the person you were born to be the better and more fulfilling will be all your results, like it's obvious, right? Your destiny is abundance. It's opulence and joy is just waiting for you. And you have everything it takes to have it all, to be more successful. But you have to first understand your potential. So that's what this webinar is about, right? To help you get started on the journey and invite you to be more curious about who, what you're capable of achieving. Seize the new year. Adopt a clearer sense of your brilliance. Because you become who you are. You were meant to be a queen who lives in opulence and is loved and respected as a person of influence who makes the world a better place. Yes, you, it's your birthright. And when it's not clear to a woman, especially women, they tend to, she tends to play small and misses out on the abundance God has planned for you. You were designed to thrive, not just survive. And all you need to do is believe that you can thrive. So I'll say it again. You already have everything you need to claim your throne as the queen you are. The only way you can go wrong is by not being true to who you are. 2020 is here. This is your chance. We're still in the first quarter. Set the tone for this new decade. Play huge. Play a bigger game in your life because that's your destiny. 
you're not meant to play small, but yet too many of us do. Why? I know I played small till I was almost 30. It's only then that I became aware of my potential through an easy first step that took me that took me like 15 minutes to complete. And it was my game changer in every way imaginable. And it's why I love introducing others to the same powerful process. Now, of course, it's just data, but with understanding and with, with you know, being able to ask questions and get answers, wow, so much comes clearer. And I, I never knew I could soar that way. You are, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's possible for all of us. And that's what my clients also realize and see. Now, you already know that my past two decades has been on delivering high performance results. But my new awareness also led me to be on the Prime Minister of Canada's task force on women entrepreneurs. It gave me the courage to be a delegate on two government-sponsored trade summits, to be featured, profiled, and quoted in regional, national, multinational media, including the cover of a business magazine, and to be recognized, nominated as one of the top 40 under 40 in Canada for my business success results and vision. And I believe that if you increase your awareness and develop your personal potential, you too will tap into God, your God-given potential and fill the huge space that you were created to fill. So let's get started. Now, each of you has received a workbook with exercises that we're going to walk through in this webinar. Be sure to revisit the workbook on your own time as well, because our time together is short but it's just long enough for you to get curious about your potential and understand how you could. Now, if you don't have your workbook yet, just, you know, um, fire me back an email and I'll send it to you. 2020 is your decade for opportunity. And this year is your chance to set the tone for, for this decade. You have that control. It's possible. And today is your day because people never reach their limits. They only think they do. And that's on page five of your workbook. Never forget that. Print it out and stick it on your bathroom mirror. Now in the workbook, um, I use a client of Matt Forward to make the concepts easier to understand. I renamed her Betty for this webinar. And before Betty took the time to better understand her personality, she didn't give much thought as to how she did things. She lacked awareness of her potential. Once she realized her potential was limitless, she began to focus on her personality and her values. Now, in your workbook on page seven, you see the seven traits established by science for high performance. Um, on the slide is a copy of the graph that my clients receive, and that's what you'll see right there. That talks about the seven traits, and you know it uh, it shows personalities from this perspective. And this visual is actually very useful because it makes it easier to understand strengths and blind spots. And it becomes so much easier to confidently assert for what you want. You begin immediately to increase your self-awareness and self-understanding. Each of us has these seven traits, but they play out differently in each of us, which explains why an approach that works for you may not work for me. It depends on how we've been hardwired. Everything flows from there. So this is about the natural set of behaviors um, and motivators that we didn't ask to have, but we have. And, you know, sometimes they're inconvenient. That was true for Megan. She always, want, she always felt like she was too intense and tried to, to kind of make her style less, I don't know, uncomfortable for others. Until, that is, she understood that her style is perfect for her. And she need do nothing except maybe have more situational awareness. She stopped being frustrated with herself and embraced the fact that she didn't choose the intensity of her personality. That was assigned to her. So, you know, the better question for her to kind of be with and what she started asking herself is, you know, where could such an intense personality um, excel? Where do I want to apply? my personality and my potential. And that's how the whole thing works. You see, it's like the knee bone connected to the hip bone. The more you understand your personality and identity, the more you'll understand your purpose and your destiny. And it's absolutely worth the effort. So when you understand and know your personality strengths, you can better flow, perform, focus strategically and confidently with motivation 
and achieve the objectives that you were designed to achieve. Because see, what you don't know or understand about yourself leaves you vulnerable to life and just kind of guessing or bluffing your way through each day as you fall short of your own personal excellence. But why do that? You're so much better than that. You deserve so much more than that. So you see the graph and you see in the middle of the page, the zero average, and that's the central line of your body. Yet there's a left side to that and there's a right side to that. So left of, center, left of zero and the right side of zero. The personality traits are identified and measured in the same way as being on the left or the right. And depending on the side that it lies, there are implications either way but different implications, right? If you have, if you land on the left of assertiveness, or if you land on the right of assertiveness, two very different experiences and two very different people. So the person, um, so take note in your workbook as to which style most describes you. I'm gonna quickly explain each trait and some of their associated behaviors, and you are going to listen to which apply to you. So you see the seven traits in the first four, okay. And the first four are your core competencies. They're the ones that most matter and dictate your style and approach and really your results in life. The last three are secondary traits. So what I want you to do or invite you to do is to give thought, um, you know, increase your conscious awareness of your personality. And I'm gonna give you these short, short descriptors and identify which one mo which best describes you. you um, okay, so self-awareness is a process, but in the absence of a more objective way to give you something concrete that you can think about after a webinar, let's keep moving and try to help you determine your top two traits of the top four core competencies. Assertiveness. Are you someone who likes to focus primarily on asserting for consensus and harmony? Or are you someone who likes to assert for results and risk-taking? Just acknowledge it, it's perfect, whatever it is. Sociability, um, are you most interested and focused on information, data, numbers, and prefer to work alone? Or are you someone who's more focused on people-related activities? Your answer is perfect, it doesn't matter which side you choose. It's perfect because it's who you are and who you've been designed to be. So just ask yourself which one applies best to you and is strongest for you. Pace, this is about a speed of your processing. Are you someone who likes to focus with a sense of urgency or are you someone who likes to be methodical and more process oriented? Again, whatever your answer is, it's perfect. Just make note of it. And what I'm asking you to do is basically out of the three traits that I've described already, you know, which one, if not two, are ones that really matter a lot to you. So the last of the core competencies is detail orientation. Are you someone who likes to focus on and pay attention to detail? Or are you someone who likes to think big? Whatever your answer is, it's perfect. Just make note of it for yourself. So these are the four core personality traits that enable success. And the traits you pick may be the traits that if you focused on more, could help you achieve even more success in your life. And that's what I mean by leading with it. If you know you're somebody who likes to have harmony and consensus, well, you know, it's probably a great idea to play to that tune and not set yourself up in for positions where you need to be asserting more than you're comfortable because the quality will be impacted. You'll be able to do it, absolutely. We can do anything. But what we're talking about is high performance, right? We're not just talking about mediocrity. We're talking how to be your best and how to live your potential and realize the things that you want for your life. So the other three traits um, that I'm just gonna quickly explain, so you have all seven of these traits, is behavioral adaptability. That's about our ability to adapt our behavior, right? I mean, some people can easily flow with the, the wind. Other people tend to kind of stick to things as they know them to be. Emotiveness, we're, it's easy, that's about processing. Um, do we either process from our head or we process from our heart? But which side we process on absolutely matters and in fact it influences every other aspect of your profile. Now, you know, many of us already know this and we try to account for it, 
but not necessarily in a way that sets us up to be successful. Um, because in fact, the more emotional or logical we are, it changes everything, our whole personality. The last of the seven traits is creativity, which is self-explanatory. Some are and need to be, and some don't. These three traits are referred to as the secondary traits. They're not as relevant as the first four, but they do absolutely matter and influence and impact our native intelligence and approach to life. Lack of awareness about the, power, uh, the powerful role these three traits have tends to render us controlled by them rather than be in control of them. So for example, I've seen clients allow these three, three traits to skew their personal sense of self and blindside their whole strategy. Don't let that happen to you. It's avoidable with awareness. Don't waste time thinking you should already know how to be self-aware because that isn't productive. If it was a simple or easy thing, um, I'm sure more people would be self-aware than 15%, but it's not. It does require effort like anything worth having done. So autopilot tends to be most people's default because life is too busy and self-awareness is kind of nebulous. No one really knows how, how to become more self-aware. How do we make it to that 15%? Well, these seven traits, as well as our education, experience, skills, and IQ, all contribute to, to, the, to creating the person we are and how we perform. It's never about good or bad. It just is. And that's why understanding it and being self-aware is so powerful for success and fulfillment. Now in the workbook on page eight and nine, you have questions that you can walk through on your own time. Um, but I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a, a, head, head, a hint now or help now. Um, again, just in the interest of time. Ideally, the things that we talk about in the course are going to enable you to answer the questions in your workbook if you didn't get a chance in our time together. If not, um, I have a responsibility that I take very seriously, which is to making sure that I deliver on what it is that I promise. So as you can see, one of my strongest traits is results. And I want to ensure that you get what you signed up for. So I've given you descriptors of the uh, core competencies, those first four traits. And now I invite you to ask yourself in question one, which two of the top four above traits net you your best results? Is it your caring nature or your boldness? If so, then assertiveness would be. Is it your relationship skills or your expertise with information? And if so, sociability would be one of your strongest traits. If it's your high energy or your methodical nature, then pace is one of your strongest traits. It could be your attention to detail or to a bigger picture. And if so, detail orientation would be one of your strongest traits. The other question, so, so you know, let me highlight that. Let me kind of explain that a little bit. Because it, based on the descriptors that I've given, it's kind of pretty easy to know what our two strongest traits are. So the knowledge is just one step. From there, it's about the application. It's about, you know, what if it's different to just know it and do nothing with it, and to know it, and to make that your make and develop a strategy around it, and that's what we're focused on. We're work, working on self awareness for results, for success, because you are you. You already have everything it takes. Now we just need to help you identify it, know how to kind of apply it. So um, yeah. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can schedule a quick call with me. I, I really just, that, that's more important to me than anything else. So um, self-awareness is about knowing and, and understanding your success triggers in your personality, your values, and your vision. But some, and some of the benefits of self-awareness are listed for you in the workbook. So circle the areas that you want to focus more on developing for in 2020 in order to advance to the next level in your life. What kind of plan will you put in place for your transformation? Again, feel free to reach out and, and we can talk about that. I'm happy to help you get focused on how you want to direct your transformation. So point is that people never reach their limits. They only think they do. It's all about your mindset. 
believe you can be an even better version of yourself and ensure that you set yourself up for success. Especially, you know, this whole decade ahead of us, it's such a great opportunity. You know, make 2020 the year you, 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 you claim your throne as the queen you are. So let's look at the second concept I promised for this webinar, which is values. Now you've seen your workbook about Betty and things started to change for her when she learned about her values. She was surprised to learn about values and how much they influence our success, specifically the unique values assigned to you personally in order to be successful with purpose is very much one of your success triggers. Now, when we engage our values, our results and relationships are all, all get better. They all improve. And I know it seems far-fetched to think quality transformation is possible just by incorporating your personal values consistently, but it really shouldn't be. I mean, we're talking about your key feelings. And the more you feel, the more you're present in your own life, how can that not bring you positive results? Um, just because we weren't brought up to focus on our personal values um, and, you know, more encouraged to embracing the values of those around us and what society wanted from us, it, it, it's just because nobody understood. You know, we're an evolving group. We're, we're learning things and, and we're better for it. So today and now, you know, the self-aware person is an empowered person. And this is a person that walks to their own beat. And without it, most people tend to do things like others do, even though what works for them may not work for us. But we trust the behaviors we see other people take because we don't know how to trust our own. But that's, that's an easy, avoidable missed opportunity because the behavior, you know, behaviors are supported by our personality and our values. So what works for somebody else if it does indeed work for them, it's a function of their personality and their values. So you can't expect that you're going to achieve the same results when you have a different personality and values. So don't spend your life trying to make someone else's approach work for you. Focus your time and energy on making your style work for you. And those who make the effort to understand their values are amongst the most successful and happy in life. There's no way around the fact that self-awareness is a process. Just like learning how to read, work, drive, love, and live is a process. Unless you learn what and how to be your best, you won't be. And it's not unlike how we get the best out of our smartphones, right? We need to know what the features are in order to use them or before we use them or consider using them. But if we don't know the features, we don't even have that choice. You have so many features that you're probably not aware of and therefore not able to use. So seize this moment in your life and live your best life now. Realize your potential. You were meant to thrive, not just survive. So advance in your life. Have more joy. Have more money, more opportunity, and more success. Whatever your goal is. Or don't. And just torture yourself knowing that you have visions and hopes and dreams and potential that may just very well stay dormant inside of you. But I don't want that for you. Why do that? Who benefits? You already have everything you need to be successful. You have to do your part though and find that power within, but you don't have to do it alone. And there's such easy ways for you to kind of get that information. Become who you are meant to be. You're so much more than your education, your upbringing, your parents, or your looks. So make more effort to understand your potential so that none of your greatness is left untapped. Now, the kind of psychometric assessments like you saw the graph with um, the seven traits, they're sophisticated and exclusive. They're not available to the average person because typically speaking, they are a business-to-business -business offering. But because I only work now with sophisticated uh, and exclusively with women, and I've already developed this strong relationship with the psychometric developer for the past two years, they are allowing me to offer this same process um, as psychometric with, through my not-for-profit, Not Forward. And so if anybody would like to be inter is, is interested or curious about who they are or their potential, I'm, I'm happy and 
I have access and I'm happy to leverage my relationship with the developer um, for those of you who want to profile your personality. It's an inspiring, hopeful way to truly feel like your life has hope and is an excellent and exciting adventure. So as we said, you know, we're talking about values. Personality is the easiest, best, most direct route I have found to begin the journey to live your best life and really thrive. And I find that personality is a great way to get to your values. Your values are of optimal use when you know them so you can consider applying them because they're powerful. They are direct from God. They are your weapons uh, for success. They are your defenses. They are your everything. So when you understand your personality, it's so much easier to be intentional, confident, and on purpose with your values. Of course, if you're satisfied with your life as it is and you don't want more, you can continue to do things the way you always have if it's working for you. All that matters is that it's working for you and you love yourself. You can choose whichever map forward you want for your life. Just be clear, your values are your ticket to abundance and success. And though the majority of people are still not aware of these success triggers, it's going to change. It has to. Thankfully, more and more of us are aware of our need for meaning, purpose, better results, hope, and satisfaction. And it's amongst the reasons why I decided to stop working with CEOs and now offer this course to more, so more women can find a proven personalized path to claim their throne as a queen. Self-awareness is a competitive advantage. If you're ambitious, if you're just, there, there's no shortage of value and benefits that you can get through increased sophistication of self-awareness. And in many ways, self-awareness is a very practical, useful, and self-determining, so much more so than a degree, upbringing, or looks will ever be. And even if you have the best degrees, upbringing, and looks, Unless you know how to make such blessings truly work for you, you're at the mercy of other people's agenda for you, and thereby it's possible that your potential gets squandered. Don't do it. You're sitting on a pot of gold. Just take the time to find your map to lead you to where you can spend it and you can thrive. Spending it by, by being, you know, expanding your personality, expanding your personality. Yeah. So just be clear, your values are your ticket to abundance and success. And though the winter, um, so in many ways, self-aware, uh, okay, so we're just going to keep moving on here. Give yourself the permission, though, with this new decade to invest in your curiosity and success. So going back to values, look at values are your feelings. It's not some elusive, hard to know your values kind of concept, but that's why most of us tend to dismiss them. We've been conditioned to focus on the tangible and the practical in order to be successful. And values, well, they're not tangible. They're certainly not practical. They're just feelings, their senses, their, it, it's an intuitive, it's intuition. Values are the natural, deeply personal motivators and success triggers. So just ask Steve Jobs, well, um, you could ask Steve Jobs or Richard Branson or Elon Musk when you meet them. They're inspired and driven by a value of creativity maybe or, or um, inventiveness or originality or, 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 but those are values. Those are values that drove them to get into action mode. And if you want to be truly powerful, happy, and self-aware, then identify and incorporate your key values. As in the case of Betty, the more she incorporated her values, which are her success triggers, the more engaged and successful she was. It really can be that easy and work for you in the same way. Being self-aware includes your values. You have the values you do so they can guide you. They exist inside of you, unique to you, to guide you on your unique path, to help you thrive on that path, and to ensure that you realize your potential. But you've got to be open and trust and understand them and know them for them to be of any use to you. Otherwise, you're just leaving money on the table of your life. Like, why? Remember, I'm available for your questions. Feel free to schedule 15 minutes with me if you want to understand these concepts better. I'm making myself available to you free of charge because I want you to realize your destiny and thrive as a queen. The world needs you. Page 11 on your workbook, there's some questions for you to jump to. Uh, I mean, for you to answer and jump to question three and let me tell you about Nicole. So Nicole's on her own. She doesn't have the kind of conversations or relationships that truly help her advance in her life. She knows she wants more, 
but she knows others will judge her. Nicole's highly creative in how she looks at life, though. And upon understanding the role of her values, she began to intentionally incorporate them. Before, she, before in her past, she just waited for them to show up, hoped that they'd be present, like in terms of the feelings that she wanted. She'd go, if she agreed to do something, she'd go, not seeing how it would meet any of her values, but being open and hoping that they'd be present. That's a lot of the, you know, maybes and what ifs and time wasted. So she began developing value. And, and then what she did, because she's clearly optimistic, that's a value for her. And she's clearly hopeful. She clearly has faith. That's a strong value. She began developing the values that she's admired and wished she had more of, but didn't realize, you know, that it was a process to become that which she admired. And she admired things like courage and, and she even developed a business idea. She ultimately just wanted to be her own boss and cover her own expenses. She was too bored with her life, as it was. She learned more about herself and even admitted that she wanted to take more risk and is focused on developing her risk tolerance. So again, you are so much more in control than you realize. And it starts with increasing your informed sophistication around who you are, your self-awareness. It's self-awareness as a starting point because who you are is and will always be the best map forward to where you're going. Now, I respect Nicole's decision, I mean approach. She gave thought to how she wanted her life and she identified which values would get her there. And then she worked on mastering those values. It's truly that easy. You were set up to succeed. Just never forget that. Circle the goals you have for yourself in 2020 as it relates to your visions. Now we're going to talk about the uh, last concept, which is values. And if you feel limited by your personality, reframe your perception of it. If you've been, you have been designed with everything you need to succeed. So just because you don't like or you may not like the two traits that you've chosen for yourself or how the profile presents it, th then I would have to say that there's an opportunity to really reevaluate how you're seeing that, learn more about what that means to be you and having those two strongest traits, and consider where and how you could play a huge real game in life. Claim your throne as the queen you are with the personality that you have. See, it's not only if you have a certain personality, you can succeed in life. No, God is much more fair than that. He loves us and he loves you. And he just wants you to be that person that he designed you to be. So um, with a somewhat solid sense of self, that with, that's all you really need. You will tend to, with that, focus more on the visions you have for yourself and your life. Now, in the case of Betty, um, her increased self-awareness led her to her vision. Um, she, she, she'd been um, dismissing and thinking the visions that she'd been having impossible. But when she realized more of her self-awareness and her values, she saw how actually those things could help her achieve that vision. And so when she recognized, reconsidered her visions with awareness of her personality and values, well, her visions made complete sense to her and she was motivated to advance them. Now, I'm not saying this is ever obvious or simple. I'm just telling you that with, without self-awareness, it's too easy to lose faith in yourself and give up. But don't give up. You can do anything. Increase your self-awareness so you can believe in yourself. Do you have a vision for this? New deck, what's your vision? Now you have questions in your workbook um, to help you identify goals and or a vision. And just remember that people never reach their limits, they only think they do. So think big. Now, unless you know yourself, how can you play a bigger game in your life and truly feel confident about your choices or take risks that move you forward? Page 15 of your workbook, um, you can you know, set some goals or visions that you can come up with for your transformation. You know and understand your personality, so you 
the more you know and understand your personality, the more you can feel confident about your choices and confidently take risks that move you forward. Stop second guessing yourself. That's where self-awareness is just such a confidence booster because you're gonna start making your choices being true to your two strongest traits. There's no need to second guess from there because you can't do more than you can do and you can't be anybody other than who you are. So embrace who you are and lead with it. But yet, like we've already established, too many women play small. And so in my, self, in my experience, self-awareness is always the answer. So create transformation in your life by using your self-awareness as a, as a strengths-based strategy. Remember, you have everything it takes to have all that you desire. Now, my intention for you today was to advance, inform, and educate you on the power of self-awareness and give you some tips on how you can immediately be more self-aware. Be feeling empowered by the beauty and magnificence of you. In this short time together, you have allowed the seeds of possibility and potential to be planted. Your personality, your values, and your vision, they are to, they're, they're just about what's possible for your life. It's your destiny. That's where you'll find your destiny and your purpose. So there are some personal reflection and introspection questions to consider on your own. And um, again, I, I reach out if you have any questions or you want to talk about it. But I hope that the power of self-awareness is abundantly clear to you. Bottom line is this, you have more control than you realize. And that's what we're all looking for in life, right? So if you'd like to receive a copy of your own personality profile and learn how to better manage and direct your excellent personality and values into your life, professional and personally, I invite you to sign up for our new, unique, exciting, and innovative, exclusive four-week course. Today was less than an hour together. But when you sign up for the course, um, not only will you receive a profile of your personality um, in, the form of an art, uh, an art, uh, in the form of artificial intelligence, you're gonna also receive about 20 hours um, with five weekly sessions with me. And what we do is we expand upon everything discussed today including know-how to leverage your personality and your values. This course is about you and it's for you. And upon signing up, you're gonna be required, I'm just gonna kind of let you know what's, what's ahead if you do choose to sign up, is you're gonna be replete, completing a questionnaire and you'll get it back almost immediately depending on when you send it. Um, and you'll get an exclusive scientifically validated and reliable psychometric profile of your personality. Now my executive clients pay $5,000 a month for what you're gonna be receiving for a fifth of the cost um, for the whole program. If you're ready to achieve transformation in your life, increase your self-awareness objectively. Don't ask your boyfriend or your husband or your mom or your dad or your best friend. They're gonna say what you know they feel. They're not gonna give you the straight goods. You need Eyeballs are biased. You, we're, you're looking for objectivity. That's the only way you're going to move forward to truth, right? So now's your time. Check out the URL for the course landing page for more information or schedule a free chat with me to learn more. Now, from a risk reversal guarantee perspective, if after module one, a whole week of module one, and before receiving your personality profile, you do not find the course what you were hoping for, absolutely, we offer a money back guarantee. Now, once you've received your profile, though, um, and if you choose to kind of stop, you can only receive 50% of your fees back. And the reason being is because there's a hard cost to the psychometric developer to use um, this technology. You're the queen of you. Discover your power. Realize your potential. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording the um, webinar.